Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, and another year has gone by. It's hard to believe sometimes how long I've been at this, from my late 20s to officially being 40 now. 12 years in, I should really know better by now that things just don't tend to go smoothly with recording sessions. And in fact, yeah, I know the drill by now. Mistakes are gonna happen, that's just how it goes. But in the end, it's still fun, and I'm still enjoying making new content. Just means I have a little extra content every April 1st. We just know it's coming by now. So, let's get right to it. After all, it doesn't surprise me anymore. Shout out to Alienoid over on my Twitter for the edition title. Come on, you know my love of bad puns, you knew what you were getting into. Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to... Eternal Darkness. That's not even close, what?! This isn't happening! Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to Secret of Evermore, and as we start off, due to things we talked about last time, we're gonna shuffle around our alchemy formulas. Mostly, we're getting rid of Atlas. Mostly we're hitting the wrong buttons. Good job! Super Nintendo controls on a keyboard are tricky to keep track of. Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to... Why was I gonna say that this was Zelda-related, like, at all? The level 1 charge is just a slow spear toss forward that does not pierce. And Mike found some roots, good boy. So now the level 2 charge... It's the... Sp the... Sp the Spaster Fear Throw. English! Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to Secret of Evermore, and I don't need to actually do my intro here. Good job! Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to... getting back? Getting back! Put the candle back! There is something weird you can do here, though. At any point, if you go into another full menu that gets rid of the current screen, like for example going into the status menu, then go back, it lightens the room a bit. It doesn't really show you that much more, and I didn't put my map back up, so that's not helpful. Good job, me! <laughs> So yeah, I figured if I had to replace the keyboard, I may as well go with a really nice looking one, so I got one of these that has the nice spectrum light kind of display on it. Oh no, just looks nice to me. Same for the... Yeah, that's a camera over there. That's what that is. However, I was told that's not quite a solution, apparently. It's more just a delayed soft lock. The Verminator may be gone, but the boxes he stands on, they're still there with no way to get rid of them. So if you go back in that way, you can't actually progress. The blo uh, the blockses. Yes, the blockses. What has its gotses in its pocketses? Blockses. And yeah, I don't actually have the axe leveled up yet. But with the new axe, we can destroy these barriers. So that's handy. And I just looped around. My famous sense of direction strikes again.
In order to do so, we have to revisit both Prehistoria and Antiqua. So, time to be on our way. We have a new flying machine, the Wind Waker. Wind Waker? No. That raptor will terminate our functions if you don't disable it. This is also an extra powerful raptor. Well, yeah. I mean, like I said. <laughs> Good timing! That's gonna be very handy. I was talking to you! Just drift off into the distance? Fine! See if I care! <laughs> Hello, Roll Mithril once Roll Mithril once again. Yes, I've I've been so different. Who am I? Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Castlevania 2 Force Blind, and it's time to be on our way to where we actually need to go for now. Yes, we have hit the first official guy dang it point, and we'll Good job! <laughs> Just had to try and show off. Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. We're continuing our best ending run. It's day four, and we're headed toward the final mansion. And we completely forgot what was over there. Good job. Much like Legend of Zelda, you have three files, the game had battery backup, and you have to register a name. So, the protagonist of this game is... Space. The Final Frontier. Good job. I love when they're not clear about the buttons. And we have another new enemy type, Armet. Sadly, we will not be praising this feat. I did the same thing I did in the Pokemon Yellow thing. Oi. Felix the Helix. With that, though, we're done in here, so... Let's hit this switch. Let's... skate, apparently? Who buttered Mike's feet? Luigi, I'm looking at you. So, one more dungeon to go in this chapter. And, for the most part, it's a bit of a, ta a tower prip. Yep. I don't think we need to say anymore. And so, there we have it. Another year of projects down, another to come, and almost assuredly more outtakes to come as well. Hopefully my work will continue to entertain in the future. All jokes aside, the past year has been a super rough one for pretty much everyone. Cliché as it may be to say, it's still important. Be good to each other. That's what we all need right now in the world. But with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the vid, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.